Hey, Paul, um, you guys kind of knew who this team was, you know, Jack threes. And obviously without Mitchell and Conley, they, they were going to play through Bojan. Um, what, from your perspective, what was the most frustrating or disappointing aspect about tonight? You know, frustrating, uh, definitely them hitting shots. They hit a lot of shots, man. Um, but disappointing, you know, we, we could have done better. You know, I feel like we could have got back on defense a few times. We let them shoot the ball. We let them get comfortable. Um and we could have took them out of the rhythm. You know, I, I felt like we could have been more physical with them. Um, but we, we learn, we're learning, we'll learn, and we'll get better from it. Brent Blackburn. Hey, Paul, how difficult is it against that particular team to just keep running them off of three when they when they hunt those shots as many times as they do? It's tough, man. It's tough. You know, they're a good basketball team. They're well coached. Um, their driving kick game is is by far, you know, one of the top in the league. Um, and the way that they move the ball, they play as as they play together. You know, they're a veteran group, and um, you know, we, we just tried to continue to to make them work on the offensive end. You know, I, I felt a few times we played really good defense, and they um, they hit some shots. But um, again, you know, I, I think they got a little bit too comfortable, um, and that's on us. You know, we could have done better. Katie Wingy. Paul, when Bogdanovich is having a night like he had tonight. I mean, at what point in the game do you guys realize that he's hot? And what are the conversations like? How are you trying to change up coverages on him? Like, when he's making the way that he was, how are you guys adjusting and talking about it throughout the game? Um, you know, it's more communication. Um, I think, you know, when we stopped him, you know, other guys got involved. You know, Georgie Neen did a good job for him, um, Jordan Clarkson. So, I mean, they got a, lot, a bunch of guys out there, you know, that – that keeps you off balance, that you can't zone into just one particular guy because the shots that they take are, are rhythm shots. And, you know, a lot of times out of nine, they're, they're going to make them. So, you know, it's hard to just lock in on one guy um, because, you know, they got a lot of shooters out there. Matthew Coles. The offense was was going well the first three quarters. Then in the fourth quarter, missed a bunch of shots. I think one of 11 from three for a bit. What happened in the fourth quarter? Did you feel like you ran out of gas or just hit a cold streak? Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, we, we, we missed some shots that we normally make. We turned the ball over. I think we had seven turnovers in the third and the fourth quarter. Um, Possibly could have run it, I guess. You know, who knows? Who knows? You know, uh, give them credit. Um, they stepped it up a notch in the fourth quarter, and we didn't. Maximiliano. Hi, Paul. Um, it seemed like uh, an exhausting game against Europe, and you're playing against again tomorrow against the Nest, against the Nets. Sorry about my English. Um, how do you manage your energies before the playoff, especially in this crowded season? Um, you just keep pushing through it. You know, we, we know, you know, what this season's about. Um, we know it's a growth. It's, it's a grind. Um, for me, you know, just continue to drink coffee. <laughs> keep my energy up that way. All right, Paul, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Mike Singer. Hey, Paul, from a big picture perspective, obviously you guys have done well since Jamal went down. Um, do you say anything to the group to keep the spirit up when, when these injuries just keep coming and it seems just like they're never ending? Do you raise your voice as a veteran, you know, who, who's gone through tough seasons before? No, I don't I don't have to. You know, we, we got a bunch of guys in that locker room with, with really good perspectives on basketball and life and um, when one guy goes down, you know, another it's an opportunity for another guy. You know, that's the beauty of our team. It's been the beauty of our team for years um, is our depth. You know, we got a lot of guys that can come in and play, you know, at any given time. So um, it's just an opportunity for somebody else to step up and um, make the best out of it. All right. That'll do it. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, thank you.